Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. It's Tuesday, July 13th. I'm Sean Coffey. We'll get to our top news stories in just a moment, but first, here's Logan with a look at our forecast. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Sean. Happy Tuesday, everyone. A pretty active night that we had, especially across the northern tier last night. Pretty quiet start, though, this morning. We have the clouds trying to give way to some peaks of sunshine, but then once again for this afternoon, another active day as we look for more scattered showers and thunderstorms into the forecast. We'll look for these to continue into the evening hours, gradually tapering off as we go into the overnight for tonight. And some of these will have the potential to be locally strong to severe. And today with your eyewitness weather forecast, those scattered showers and thunderstorms, otherwise warm and humid, we'll see your highs today reaching into the mid-80s. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Active for today and active for Wednesday. We'll see your temperatures into the mid to upper 80s. And a nice little break comes as we go into Thursday with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures into the upper 80s. Friday, most of the time, will stay dry with the late-day shower to Sean, our highs are right around 90. All right. Logan, thank you. Severe weather brought more flooding along with a tornado warning in Bradford County. Our eyewitness news crew found a culvert pipe sticking up from Coryland Road near Gillette due to the heavy rains washing away the road. Several roadways, including the Columbia Crossroads, were forced to close as a result. There were also reported evacuations that took place at the Roseville Trailer Park due to flooding. The National Weather Service plans to survey the damage in Bradford and Wayne counties later today after reports of several downed trees due to wind damage. Crews continue to clear downed power lines in Clinton County after Sunday's severe weather. Power lines were blocking traffic on Route 120 in Bald Eagle Township. Strong winds scattered debris all over area neighborhoods. In Lock Haven, some people spent their Monday clearing branches from their yards. And Sunday's storms are also affecting a popular trail in Luzerne County. A large tree fell over, closing a section of the Back Mountain Trail in Kingston Township. It's blocking the trail between Luzerne and Trucksville. That portion of the trail remains closed. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather on air and online throughout the day. For more, visit PAHomepage.com.